What is going on, Ulnar Nerve Nation? I told you I would make some more videos, and I told you I would answer your questions, and I decided to combine those two and answer your questions in some videos. Uh, hopefully, somebody that's got a similar question can watch uh, the video, and uh, that'll answer their questions as well. So anyway, I'm going to kick it off now with uh, Marcelo Ludwig. Cool last name, by the way. Um, he's got uh, issues in both arms. Lucky you. I bet a lot of us can sympathize with that. I know I can. Uh, was basically asking me how I felt right after the surgery because he was told it gets worse before it starts to get better. Did it happen like this to me? How am I now? How's going to the gym? How's working? How's the pain? And then he wishes me well. Thank you, Marcelo. Uh, sounds like you're getting close to... Um, scheduling your surgery as you said so hopefully you haven't done that yet and this can put you at ease but I felt the best I had felt in five or six years right after my surgery and that's not to say just because of pain medication or whatever I mean you know a couple weeks afterwards when I had the stitches out and uh, everything was sort of healing up uh, but I mean even immediately I, I had no numbness or, or p nerve pain you know I had pain from the incision let's say but no numbness anymore and you're so you get so used to dealing with varying levels of numbness that no numbness in my hand just felt awesome you know I felt like I was a kid again it was so cool um, but that's not to say everything was perfect in my recovery uh, I got an you know uh, allergic reaction to the scar away stuff that uh, they told me to use uh, so just be aware of that anybody test yourself test I mean, put that scar cheat on yourself for a little while uh, before you go and put it on your incision, maybe before your surgery, just to test out to see if you're allergic to it. I don't think too many people are, but I was one of the lucky ones. And I'm not allergic to a lot of stuff, so let that be a lesson to you. Um, but, you know, and then again, at four months, when I started getting more serious about working out and activities, I remember one day after, um, you know, working in the yard, I had a lot of tingling in my arm, and then it just kind of... You know, I, I just went right back into my thought process before. It was like, oh, I need to keep my arm straight, you know, to, to give it some rest. And it just kept getting irritated, irritated. And I even went out to see the doctor again. And the day before I was going to see him, I was on the elliptical. And I felt something popping when my, my arm would go straight. And I thought it was just a joint. But then I realized that my nerve that had been transposed here pops back over when I straighten my arm out. And I was like, oh, that's why it's been irritated because I've been keeping my arms straight all the time and I'm sleeping like that and I'm just basically irritating it when I thought I was giving it rest. Because after you have a transposition, this is basically like your nerve uh, resting because it's not being stretched over anything. It's sitting in front of the bone. So keeping your arm bent uh, when after you've had a transposition is, is the more ergonomic position for you to be in uh, for your nerve. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of gone away. Like I was thinking about having a revision thing and I was worried that it wasn't going to go away. But, you know, and it's not like I have to modify my lifestyle too much. Um, I'm just aware of it. So I, I can just put it to you this way. That doesn't happen with many people. I've yet to hear of anybody that that's happened with. But if you asked me to do it again and I would still get this exact result, I would do it. Because it was just so bad before, you know, I, I just, I couldn't do much of anything and it was interfering with just every, everything, you know, brushing my teeth, eating, typing, mousing, just driving, everything, you know, and I don't have problems with any of that anymore, you know. Uh, I mean, when you think about it, your arm's bent more than it's perfectly straight. So, I mean, if you imagine walking down the street like that. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm able to go gym now. I feel great. I mean, I... I have not worked out this much probably since I was like in my 20s. I I do my whole upper body like twice a week. I'm in the gym five days a week. Um, I, I don't have any nerve pain or numbness. Every once in a while, I mean, I haven't, I still have problems in my left arm. And any issues I have, I get in this. I don't really, the right arm is, I don't have to worry about anything. Um, and work, you know, working on the computer doesn't irritate it. Um, so... Really, you know, I have heard that it, it gets 
worse for some people before it starts to get better. And I think that has a lot to do with if you have a submuscular, it probably feels a lot worse right afterwards because of they're cutting muscle. There's probably a, a lot more pain. I can't really speak from personal experience, but from what I've been told. And uh, I know the recovery is a little longer for that. But, you know, and then again, if your nerve was really irritated before you got the surgery and your surgeon was in there fiddling around you know, with stuff for a while. I mean, basically with surgery, the longer you're open and they're in there working on stuff, the, the worse off it is. I mean, it, yeah, you want somebody to take your time. That's kind of like what was my thought process. But then they also say like, well, the, the longer you're open, you have more chance for infection or this or that, you know. So you want a guy that like knows what they're doing and goes in there, gets it done and shuts you back up and lets you heal. And that was my doctor. That's why I researched surgeons to the point that I did. Some people might think I was uh, over the top with that. Uh, some people will just go to the person down the street and be fine with it. And that's okay. Uh, it's just whatever your personal preference is. I, for one, wanted to find somebody who I felt really comfortable with and uh, felt like I was going to give myself the best chance for um, a good recovery. Uh, but there's always, you know, everyone's individual everyone's going to heal differently uh, but I will venture to say that if you were to go in and get a subcutaneous transposition I bet afterwards you will feel pretty good and if you don't you're going to feel pretty good pretty soon um, it's not going to it's not like you're going to go through months of feeling tingly although I have I have had somebody uh, on here that had contacted me and, and not to scare anybody but didn't have a, a positive thing afterwards. And I think after a, a long while, he started to feel better, but everyone's different. You know, that's, that's very, that's obviously the, the minority versus the majority of pe uh, people and, and the outcomes that they experience. So don't get too caught up in worrying about that. Um, I, I would, uh, you know, just to put your mind at ease, like I said, for myself, if you're if you're monitoring this like it sounds like you are and you've reached the end of conservative treatment, this is a great option. It's probably the only thing that's going to give you permanent relief if conservative things that you've tried haven't worked. Because if something's not working and you keep doing it, it's not going to make it any better, you know, so... Unless you haven't tried some things that you could try, but there's not a there's not a you know endless list of conservative options. There's, it's really sort of limited. I need to make a video that sort of goes through those again for you guys, so I will do that. But anyway, Marcelo, uh, best of luck to you. Um, I feel great. I felt great after my surgery. I felt great. I feel great going to the gym. I feel great working at my computer, and uh, hopefully that puts your mind at ease and. Uh, you're able to uh, get things worked out and feel better. So uh, all the best, my man, and thank you for the question. And uh, to all of you that have written me another question, I will get right on those now. So uh, aloha, and I'll see you later.